Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about calculated column and calculated measure and calculated table in Power BI DAX. These are the three types of calculations available in Power BI DAX functions. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions real-time project explanation with scenario-based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real-time environment. So in this video, we will discuss about what is calculated column in Power BI and what is calculated measure in Power BI and what is the difference between calculated column and measure. So this is very very important question for interview point of view. Okay, And also very important to understand the uh, to prepare the dashboards or uh, reports okay so another type is calculated table in power bi and the difference between all of three okay let me go to my power bi desktop so let me take simple data to explain this scenario i'm taking product table which is created by me don't worry it won't take much time to load I'm taking products table click on load I'm taking only one table why because one table is enough to show these examples that's the reason why I'm taking only one table while loading tables automatically it will detect the relationship if you load multiple tables I'm loading only one table that's the reason why you can't see the mapping table is loaded into the power bi desktop in memory let me go to data view now see here you can see new measure new measure is nothing but calculated measure new column is nothing but calculated column new table is nothing but calculated table okay now suppose if you want to uh, calculate total sales amount for example i am taking new measure okay new measure or new calculated column here also you can take here only two options available new column new measure i am taking first new column so I want to calculate total sales amount. That's the reason why I will mention total sales as column name. Okay. I'll just mention total sales equal to sum of some function we need to use. So this is the table name. This is the column name. Okay. Products is my table name. I want to sum for the sales amount column just simply mention working on it okay see here now it returns a total sales uh, value okay now same thing i am using uh, measure okay I'm taking new measure same name I cannot give that's the reason why I will take uh, total sales amount equal to sum of product of sales amount my measure is created but it is not displaying okay so calculated column is nothing but calculated column creates a extra column to the existing table and it will physically it will appear but calculated measure it won't create extra column but it returns the same value but the value will be stored into the power, uh, power bi desktop in memory okay now come here come to report view if you want to see this measure value just drag into the report if you want to display the number then you need to go to card just click on it 
same value returned here that is the main difference okay now if you come here your new table is there so new table so there are some functions in power bi dax for example calendar calendar auto so these uh, functions only return table it won't return column okay so for example here date column is there right so go to new table i want to create it calendar based on the date column don't worry i will explain in coming sections very well oh, i just mentioned dates okay column name is and calendar auto automatically it will create the calendar dates now see it written uh, date plus time format okay so this is my calculated column this is my calculated measures you cannot see here and this is my calculated table so you need to observe the symbols okay so thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training you can directly contact to this email id or you can directly call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number still if you have any questions please comment in the below video